Gravity is the curvature of space and time. And you're moving on the curvature of that fabric. That's gravity. I'm telling you, gravity really is the curvature of space and time. That gets us the Big Bang and everything we've ever known. Any concentration of matter and energy and or energy will curve the fabric of space and time. And the more and, mass, and, and, and the, the more movement gravity. of matter on that fabric of space and time, we call gravity. We call gravity. gets us the Big Bang. It's space. So matter tells space how to curve. Space tells matter how to move. It moves along the curvature of space. You don't need an action at a distance. There is no action. It, no, it can't do anything else but do that. I'm very happy for you. you. We all know gravity sucks. Gravity sucks. Gravity sucks. We typically would not be able to see this. Conditions are right on the lake that we're actually seeing a mirage. but we don't really know what gravity is. There's a similar question in the book, but they got a little more philosophical than you just did. But they both lean philosophical. It's science can describe how gravity works, but can they describe why it works? I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? what I've done and I can land a spacecraft on Mars inside of a crater in a hole in one using my understanding of gravity so I'm pretty good with it okay not on our mission by the way they hadn't been discovered yet Einstein not on, not on, our, mission. Not on our mission wrote down the equation that worked by the way they hadn't, hadn't been discovered, discovered yet why it works <laughs> that worked
The Earth is flat. End of story. <laughs>